Hello everybody, my name is James Anderson and I am the naturalist for the Marion County Park District and today we're going to be doing a DIY bird beak activity that you can do at your own home and this is a great activity especially if you have little ones and today I have my assistant, what's your name? Jeremiah. Jeremiah is with us and he's going to show us on how certain tools are going to represent different yeah, types of birds and see how well they survive in each environment or different situations. So I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so for this activity, you're going to need just some common uh, house tools that you can find in your garage, uh, around your house, even some kitchen appliances. I have some, uh, I have a meat tong, I have another pair of tongs. So these are right if you want to cook on the grill. That's right, right cook on the grill, absolutely, Jeremiah. Right, right. we cook on the grill all the time. We sure do. Uh, we have a pair of chopsticks, um, if you have some leftover rice, uh, some straw, a clothespin, and a pair of salad tongs. I promise they're not broken. So. Yeah, we are the, I actually did that, so that is the one that's going. What? That, yeah, that's all right. Because and a pair of safety scissors because safety first. So we're going to talk about a couple stations um, at each yeah. time. And again, Jeremiah is going to help me out. Oh, and of course, a bowl with some marbles as well. So let's dig in. All right, so for our first station, I have this bowl. This bowl just represents a lake, an ocean, a wetland, whatever you like to call it. And inside here we have these marbles, which will represent fish. So Jeremiah is going to see which one of these tools are going to catch the food the easiest and which one's going to struggle. So as he's doing it, try to think about what type of bird could he be. So all right, Jeremiah, go after the fishies. I'm an eagle. Where's my food? <laughs> All right, so you got one. Oh, but it fell out. So guess what? You'll be out there for quite some time. If not, a predator might get you. Okay? Ah, All right. Let us try these Shots. salad tongs. Thanks, Let's see how well they do. Okay. All right, and act like you're scooping ice cream at home. All right. Oh, ah. do it again. Look at that. He's got marbles in his pouch so he would be a type of pelican excellent excellent and getting fish out of the water so good job jeremiah so for our next station i have these beautiful flowers they're inside a vase and uh, these are just fake but inside of here is water and this water is going to represent nectar so jeremiah that's all right if it blows away we're gonna see how well uh, you do at the station. So let's try the pair of pliers. Try to get your beak in there. See if you do well. What's in there? It's just water. All right, you got in there a little bit, but you didn't get a lot. All right. Uh, Where's my nectar? All right, try this pair of pliers. I'm a nectar. All right, same thing. Same thing. All right. Now try the straw. We're not going to drink out of it, but go all the way. All right. I my nectar. <laughs> woo. And then we go, woo. Oh, we got nectar. All right. That would be a hummingbird. Very good, Jeremiah. Yes, this would be a hummingbird. Excellent, excellent in grabbing nectar out of flowers. So good job, Jer. Woohoo! All right, so for our next station, I have this coffee can full of the sand and dirt. And then these worms. Are these real, Jeremiah? No, they're just. They're fake, very good. They're just fishing bait. And so this would represent a backyard, a schoolyard, just anywhere you could find worms. So we're gonna see, uh, for this one, we're gonna use the big pair of meat tongs. We're gonna use this little pair of needle nose pliers and then a clothespin. So Jeremiah, try to get the worms with the big meat tongs. You're a big Wait. bird, right? Yeah. All right, pull down and then pull up. Now look, he's got some worms, but he's got some dirt or sand coming out. So I think you would go awfully thirsty out there. So you better pack some extra water, okay? So go ahead and put the meat tongs down. Okay. All right. Down. Try the little needle nose pliers. All right, bring the worm up. All right, you did a great job. You got a worm. Now looking at the shape or size of your beak, 
uh, you're able to grasp onto those worms, especially those pesky worms where their, their bodies are barely above the ground. And then I'm gonna try. Now I did okay, I got one, but if the worm's outside of its little hole, it's okay. But if it's, again, its body's barely above the ground, I think my beak would have a hard time grasping onto that worm. So what birds do we know that eats worms, Jeremiah? Um, the kind of birds, um, how about... How about, have you heard of a robin before? Yeah, robin. Yes, robins are excellent, excellent on grabbing... So I, so I would be a robin since I won. That's right, since you won. All right, so I'm going to come by again. All right, so okay. for our next station, I have just some black oil sunflower seeds. And these would represent if you feed birds at home. So come on over here, Jeremiah. Okay. So which one tool do you want to be? Do you want to be the pliers or the tweezers? Tweezers they okay. will be. All right, so try it. Oh, you're fine. There you go. Okay. Drop the pliers. All right, Drop try it. to grab that seed. All right, you got it, but how are you going to eat it, Jeremiah? Um, um, oh, you got to swallow it. Well, hopefully you can. Now, let's see with my pliers. Okay, I got hold of the seed, but did you hear that crunch? Yeah. All right, so okay. this beak would able to crack the seed open. So, yeah. Jeremiah, you saw a red bird this morning. What big bright red bird has a very big, strong beak for cracking seeds? our state a bird a cardinal yes yep yep so cardinals and gross beaks are excellent examples of grabbing um, grabbing seeds and cracking them open all right, so for our last station, I have this log. So if you have a log or a big stick that's uh, around your property, uh, this could be good. And then I have some rice. These rice would represent uh, baby insects. A lot of time, female insects will lay their eggs inside of dead trees. So for this station, you're one and needing a pair of tweezers. And then I always like to include a big bird, so I always like to use in big tongs. And again, use any other tools you like for this activity. So Jeremiah, we're gonna let you be the little tweezers, and then uh, let's see how well you do on grabbing those baby insects. Okay, let me try a try because I grabbed them. I grabbed some of them. All right, you got one. Oh, pretty easy. All right, you want to try the big tongs? Sure. All right. So let's see. Do you think you're going to get them? No. All right. You're a pretty big bird. So judging by the size of your beak, your bill, I think you're going to need a lot of insects. You might get one. But again, you got to be quick. Because if not, a predator might be around to get you. Well, I have to be enough if I have to take them by a Well, everybody, I hope you enjoy that video with my son, Jeremiah, and I. We'll probably do a few more other fun experiments with that. It's a great activity that you can do with your little ones and also teaching them about the great outdoors and nature. So have fun, be safe, most of all, go out and explore your Marion County Parks. I'm naturalist James Anderson from the Marion County Park District and I'll see you next time. Yes, Jeremiah. Three, two, one.